welcome back to my channel my name is Holly and today's video is going to be a pattern review um, and it is the new Neve skirt pattern from So Over It and here it is on my dress form I worked with So Over It on this pattern I was uh, one of the models who modelled for them on their website and on the sewing pattern and a little bit for the Instagram around it but this I decided just to do this review as I made the pattern and I thought I'd share all about it because I love it. Like I absolutely love this pattern and I will tell you why. So let's start with um, the Neve pattern. It is, it comes in three lengths. You have a mini, a midi length and a maxi length. I decided for my one to make a maxi length skirt because I think it is so, I fancy making a maxi length. I'm really, this summer I seem to have made lots of maxis. Anyway, so I went to the maxi and here it is. So I'll just talk through the basic, what it's made up of, and then I'll talk through how the pattern's put together and what I think about it. So first of all, we have a straight waistband. Um, it sits quite high up on waist, quite high waist of skirt I found, which I love, very flattering. So you've got a straight waistband here. And then we have it goes into a yoke, which is on the front and the back. Same as the waistband, it runs all the way around the front and the back. And um, the yokes are slightly different. On the front yoke, you have a it's really, really flattering pointed yoke, which points down at the centre front. And then the back is a complete straight yoke, which again is really flattering. On me, this fits like nice and snug. And really fitted and then on the above these yoke which runs down into the skirt so each variation the top is exactly the same and just the skirt length changes so the skirt is gathered all the way around the um, length of the yoke all on the front and all along the back so you have this real lovely contrast of a fitted around the hips waist and then around just below the bottom and the front kind of like here where my shorts are i would say um is then into a gathered section which has lots of movement and drape so really really flattering and then it has a side seam from the yoke and the skirt um and the waistband hasn't got a side seam there and then we have a invisible zipper, which on mine runs to the bottom of the yoke. So that is its skills of what it's basically constructed of. And then a full length skirt. So next I want to talk about how the pattern is put together via the instructions. Um, first of all, we have the waistband which is interfaced on both sides actually both sides so this is just a long rectangle piece of fabric which is interfaced and rolled over to make your waistband so first of all you, you do that first um, and then you next you do some stay stitching because this um, bottom of this yoke is into a point it means it's kind of vulnerable on that point so you do some stay stitching along the yoke bottom just to make sure that it doesn't stretch so that's what you do next and then we go into the skirt basically and then we start gathering the skirt um, and then we attach the skirt to the yoke um, and then we have two pieces we then put on the waistband which was then all attached together by the side seam so able to put the waistband on and then it is the zip that goes in on the pattern it tells you to overlock the edges along here and down the side seams and where the zip it is um, I personally decided to do French seams down the side seams and then I used the seams along here so I haven't got any raw edges the waistband goes on really easily. Um, you stitch it on here with the sewing machine, you roll it over and then you press a little lip and then you stay stitch it 
along so that's lovely and enclosed as well and then you just do a rolled hem I would say the most difficult more challenging skill within this is doing an invisible zipper because they just take a bit of practice don't they really a really really easy make I made this skirt in about four hours but it is more based at beginner advanced pattern around that sort of area and I've done a lot of sewing so it was going to be a little bit quicker for me but this is a great pattern if you want to learn you can learn the zippers putting a waistband on gathering my overall review is I love this skirt um, when I was wearing the photo shoot the sample for the photo shoot I was like this this is a bit of me like I need this skirt in my life I just felt amazing in it it fitted so well I can't believe well I can believe the fit on these skirts is just amazing like absolutely fits me perfectly it's like I pattern drafted it for myself but it's not it's just a regular size 8 on the pattern it's beautiful really flattering really universal as well you can have it as a midi mini or maxi like i said but then you can all the fabric just makes it look so different like you could wear this every day as you know your normal clothes just to go shopping with or i wore this out to a birthday garden party and felt really fancy in it and I'm also debating on making another one out of, I'm trying to find some silk fabric for a wedding guest outfit as well. Like it's so universal. This is literally my favorite pattern ever. It's brilliant. So I would recommend it to anyone. I did a styling video over on the Sew Over at Instagram talking about how I styled this skirt. Um, if you wanna check that out, I'll leave that linked below. So I've got a video, I'll leave this linked if it's not, if I've done it already, um, of a matching garment that I made to go with this skirt, with my scrap fabrics. It makes me love this skirt even more, this outfit I just love. So yes, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this little rundown of the new Sew Over at Neve skirt, which is fabulous so if you liked it please like this video and subscribe i'd love you to have you um, and i also have a sewing instagram page um, and a sewing blog so if you want to follow me on instagram i'll leave the links down below as well so that's where i do behind the scenes and progress pictures and those sort of things and videos and reels i love a reel so anyway i will see you again soon thank you for watching bye